Hello, this is Three Guys One Computer. I'm Jake. And I'm Jake. And this is StarCraft 2. If you're not familiar with StarCraft 2, it's an RTS, a real time strategy game. Am I right, I'm though? pretty sure you didn't have to insult people's intelligence, though. RTSs aren't that well known. Well, yeah, but they're not. I, I'm, I'm not even. I'm not going <laughs> to carry on that now. Are you kidding? Either way, this is not a non online match. This is a co op match. Uh, you can... Henderson is a. Uh... Obviously me, Jake. Obviously Jake, and Liquid Snake is mine. Yes. Like, uh, Taking the mick out of Metal Gear Solid, Solid Snake, am I right? Or no, is Liquid Snake's Solid Snake's brother. Oh! I thought it was like a parody sort of thing. No. You've obviously never played Metal Gear Solid. If you said Gas Snake, then that would have been a parody, but no. Yeah, but this one was it. Anyway, we both choose normal. At least, yeah. Just because we're normal. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a mod based off. Well, this is nothing made by Blizzard. This is made yeah, by made by him. It's made by Blizzard. Do we actually created StarCraft 2, So it's uh, actually based off. Well, based off. It is one of the uh, levels in the campaign. But it's made for co-op. This one. Yes, it's made for co-op online. So if you go on popular maps, you'll see this. Uh... And anyway, the idea behind this is that um, during the day. You can freely roam about and like um, destroy infested buildings. Destroy, destroy the buildings, but at night, waves upon waves of monsters come out to eat you. Yes, and I'm not gonna lie, I spam the marines, which is the basic people a lot. Now I'm at the side of you here. Uh, I don't know whether you'll look at me because uh, no, don't you don't follow me. I do do one embarrassing thing towards the end, but most of the time I protect you. <laughs> oh yeah. While you go out and destroy everything. Okay, I did not know. In that. a way. Things so we had a little system. I was gonna save up for the siege tanks, and James was gonna gonna get yeah, all I, the I buy things. all sorts of stuff. I give you like tech reactors. And... So as you can see, I just spam the marine button, hope for best. And I. I built so many SCVs. <laughs> It was untrue. See, right near the end, I was running out minerals really fast. So we were very lucky that we did it to, well, when we did, that we finished it when we did. You can see I built another barracks pretty soon. I think this one I put a, um, what was that thing called? A bio lab or something? Tech lab. Tech lab. No, it's not a tech lab, it's the other one. The one that makes you, so you can make... Reactor. Tech reactor, yeah. Or reactor. It's just a reactor. Reactor. Sorry, I, I don't look at the we, names. We unlock tech reactors, uh later on. So that, all that does is make sure I can make uh, two marines at once. I can just click the marine uh, click the marine button ten times. It just makes two marines at once, plus my own barracks. I can create three marines at once. And it is night time. At first I thought I said it is nightmare. Like, I keep doing that. I keep like skim reading words. I keep, yeah. Do you know that uh, Total War Shogun? Yeah. I thought that said shotgun at first. I, I skim read it and uh, well I should say I've got to stop skim reading those words. I might get that. No, oh, here we go, I put a... And then you realise that you can't. So, okay, as the humans in this game, you can lift off your buildings. Yes, but as, you can't way. do it as any others. You can't do it with Terran any others. Terran are really good, though, because you can, with your SCVs, you can uh, repair stuff. Yeah. You can't do that with any other, I think. All right, no, then. I don't think you can, though. Anyway, here you see, like, swarms of them coming in. Sorry, I don't look at the action much, but I end up spamming the... Uh... Uh, what's it called? Is it the thing is, culture? I find myself not looking at focus on battle that much. I will mainly maintain it better. As you see in the map, in the uh, left down bottom corner. Yeah, the red dots are zombies. All the red dots are zombies. So they're not zombies, they're infested humans. Though. Basically, coming at the other side of wards, which I'm defending against. Things are what did surprise me. I knew there was an entrance at the back, which they brought through later on. Yeah, and I I message you a lot in this game, so I commanding you about yeah cause I, I, about. Forget, I forget there's an entrance at the front where they can come through and James I thought you realised I didn't I I was I kept waiting for you to build something like that it was like I didn't build I just sent I just at the end I have mass amounts of marines and then the, uh, the, these are uh, what called skanks or shanks one or the other well, I mean um, we're gonna find out we'll find out that and they really mess up units because they just come in and swarm. Yeah. Where the siege tanks, I don't think I would have survived at the also, end. Also, one thing we've got to clear up 
We are not pro players at this. That's what I can beat the hard AI now. Because <laughs> I bet you some people will bitch because we're not that good at Look, we are not Korean. We do not <laughs> as play this. We do not play this. But look at all these. Just... We do not play online that much. Simply, simply because it is. Well. It is one is, of that like a, is that a giant bane link? Yeah. Called a curse. See, actually, I got all my units just to spam it. I think one of my guys died. I think, yeah. I bet you there's like some pro strategy for this, but we didn't care. We did this. This is like. Look at look at any marines I have. Actually, I think this is like our third try. The first time. Your computer got up. My computer started having very bad graphical issues and it shut itself off. The second time. Second time the recording. Oh, my messed fault. Messed up. Yeah. Your fault. <laughs> and so. We know what we're doing at the start of this, but we didn't. Yeah, I had sent to just send all, all them, and I forgot that, um, oh, what's it called? I forgot that them little Zerg thing comes out, and all these units actually die, because I ended up just going right to the next one, and if you look, well, no, that one doesn't. But on one of them, I just send me, um, units on, and the Zerg units come out of it and just destroy my units, because I forget about them. Uh, that's why you should always attack move these buildings. See, I tell you whole like in my case, if you look at the left hand corner, um, basically on the other side of the map, you can see the map revealing and that's my units and they're, um, they're basically walking through, clearing them out, um, I just attack move them while See, them little zerg units pop out. Yeah. See, I do like those vultures because they're fast as anything. Just to get to shoot rockets as well. They're really good for taking out buildings fast. But the problem is, the Zerg units when they come out, um, they tend not to get to them. They tend not to shoot them fast enough compared to I Marines. I very rarely use vultures in the campaign. I don't think I really done that. I don't think I really done the campaign with the vultures. Um, you don't use them that much anyway. They're pretty much useless on this. They're pretty decent actually. But, um... Yeah, this, I actually got it because that little flying unit scared me. <laughs> and I'm like, I didn't know they had the flying units and them Zerg units were just destroying that vulture because I didn't realise. So, um, so that wasn't very smart of me, to be honest. Yeah. Here you go on. There's all sorts of different... So, in this game, let's talk a bit about it while you are killing things. Um... There are three races, the humans, which you call Terran, the uh, Good sort it. of like highly advanced um, Protoss, aliens which you call Protoss, and then... Are they like the good aliens as well? Cause... Yeah, but there's also bad as well. Yeah, I know, because that, that... Uh, what's that, what's that called? Zerahul or something? Zeratul. Zeratul, that's it, sorry. Um, I've got an H in that for some reason. Anyway, and then there's the Zerg, which are like... Oh, this um, is where I do it. And I, quite a few of my units die, just because I forget about them, and then uh, they pop out, and I know what's saying, they probably like a couple of units. And I had to run from these, because I only had like one Marine. And, you and it's 30 seconds till it's... Um... And as you can see, I didn't have that many... Um... So I spammed the Marine here quite a bit, because I actually panicked here, because I thought, oh my god, I don't have that many units. So, well, it wasn't very good of me to do that. Um, as you can see now, in the top right hand corner ish. As you can see in the top right hand corner, there's a little um, points thing. I had like 82 points, that's the points you spend on the um, upgrade and stuff. So that was that. And now I arrange my units for battle. And pretty sure they get on. And quickly put up my Marines. So, James? Yeah, I'm back. Night 2. Yeah. Anyway, the Zerg are like these infested sort of things. Like, they create. They're evil aliens. They're evil aliens, but the. See, I, I realise it's a ledge, though. If you look back then, I realised it was a ledge and put Marines on there. <laughs> yeah. That was quite good. I realised that later on and put the siege tanks on though. 
and in in a in a while you'll see James spam of the flamethrower after you get it. Yeah. You'll be able to see James's spam of the uh what what they called? 